Hello and welcome back to the wood turning section of my YouTube channel. Uh, in these few videos we've been looking at some of the wood turning finishes that I use. Uh, some of them are specific to wood turning and some of them are not. Um, some of the finishes I use are not intended for wood turning but do work very well. Um, what we've got in front of us at the moment is some of the acrylic finishes that are on the market. Uh, these ones are made by a company called Chestnut. I've been using Chestnut uh, finishing products for the better part of 10 years now. Um, very reliable. I've never had a problem with them. Um, they're long lasting. You know, they, once you've uh, broke the seal, they tend to last a long time before you have to uh, throw them away. The, uh, the good quality finishes. These, what we're looking at, are some of the acrylic finishes that they've uh, started producing fairly recently. By, fair, by fairly recently, I mean in the last five or six years. Um, obviously, the can ones are uh, aerosol based and uh, these ones, the smaller ones, are wipe on ones or brush on ones. <laughs> now acrylic finishes used to be a bit of a joke. They really weren't up to the task but recently they've really come on in leaps and bounds. Uh, these two here, if you, the brush on ones, I personally like a lot better than the aerosol ones. I'm not a great lover of aerosol finishes. The, the problem is, half the product ends up in the air that you're breathing. And I have a problem with that. If I'm paying for a product, I want that product to end up on the the wood turning that I've made. I don't want it to end up being drawn into my lungs or hanging around in the air in my workshop. You know, why would you pay, let's say, what's that, £6.50? Why would you pay £6.50 for a product that probably £3 of it is going to end up floating around in the air? I have a problem with that. So that's why I don't generally use spray-ons, aerosol-based ones. Although I do occasionally use them, but in general, no. I'd much rather use a brush-on or wipe-on. And these two here work really well. Uh, acrylic sanding sealer in the blue bottle and acrylic lacquer in the uh, pinky purpley bottle work really well. Chestnut, as I say, I've never had a problem with them. They've come on in leaps and bounds, the acrylic-based uh, products. Water-based, acrylic-based. The water-based products, so you've got easy clean-up afterwards in water, so that's not a problem. Uh, you can thin them down with water if you want them to go a little bit further or, you know, make them a little, a tiny bit easier to apply. Um, they dry a lot quicker than what they used to. That was one of the stumbling blocks of, uh, of acrylic based uh, finishes. The, the, the drying times, you know, you were looking at 12 to 24 hours to dry. Whereas with this, I can apply a coat and within, an, within one hour, it's dry and ready for another coat. So they've cut down on the drying times massively. Right, the can that's at the back with the black top is basically this product. It's called Chestnut Ebonizing Lacquer. It is a... Is it satin black lacquer? I think it's acrylic based. I'm almost sure it is. I think it's water based acrylic although I could be wrong so make sure 
um, basically that'll turn any wood black it'll ebonize wood it's handy for walking sticks obviously to get a piece of ebony the length of a walking stick would cost, would cost you an absolute fortune or as they say over here an arm and a leg whereas with this you can get a piece of ash you could then fill the grain and then spray this on and it would look like ebony, look like ebony. obviously uh, I would then recommend you go over the top with some acrylic lacquer quite a few coats because if you don't coat it with acrylic lacquer over the top basically as soon as it, it touches something you're going to get chips coming off and you're going to be able to see the original wood underneath so give it a couple of coats with the ebonizing lacquer ebonizing lacquer and then give it two or three coats with acrylic lacquer and uh, it really does work effectively I've, uh, have a walking stick I'll show you in the next video in fact that I've uh, actually used it on and it works really well right guys that's some of the acrylics that I use I don't use them like every uh, on everything that I make I, I love oil finishes but there are occasions when I do reach for them and they, as I say, they're not nearly as, as bad as they used to be. They've come on leaps and bounds, so they really are worth giving a try. Right, in the next video, guys, I'll show you the walking stick. Catch you in a bit.